Hello unlimited friends, it's Zara back again with Q&A about the law of attraction and its application to our lives. The question today comes from Ruchi and her question is, I'm struggling to come to terms with my divorce. I keep thinking of him. So how do I come out of this attachment? Ruchi, first of all, my dear, thank you for sharing your question. I know that this subject is not easy to talk about. I don't have any details about your relationship, so I can't go really in depth, but I will do my best to provide you with as much as I can right here and now. The very first thing I want you to understand, Ruchi, is that you're thinking that just because an event has happened and that event is a divorce, that this divorce stands in the way of anything else because it does not all things are possible which means that even if a divorce has happened you can repair your relationship and you can get your husband back a divorce does not mean anything where the powers of the universe are concerned if you want him back you can have him back it does not matter what has transpired before but in order for that to take place sweetheart you have got to start following law of attraction in the sense that you've got to stop thinking about him you see as long as you keep yourself in the asking mode allowing cannot happen when you ask it is given but it is non-physical in order for non-physical to become manifested you've got to stop asking for it so how do you do that that's the next step let's talk about that because that's where all your work is and it starts with your belief you see your first belief is Oh my God, this divorce has happened. But a divorce is just a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. Vibration is so much stronger than a piece of paper. The divorce does not stand in your way. And the belief that you need to let go of is that now this divorce has happened, so it can't change. You've got to instead start telling yourself, the divorce cannot stand in my way because if I ask, it is always given. And then the next thing is, you've got to do some fixing. You've got to change your belief systems about other things as well. And when I say that, what I mean is, you probably have beliefs about what you should have done differently and what he should have done differently. You see, the divorce didn't happen suddenly. It happened over a period of time. Things accumulated and then the divorce happened. So you know what you were doing, the way you were thinking. That thinking is what created the divorce. That thinking was responsible for getting the results that you got. And you do not need to get the same results again because you can change the way you think your thoughts. So become the person that you should have been before. If you can become that person now, then you can attract marital happiness to yourself. That's the first thing that I want you to understand. The second thing I want you to understand is that you have tied your happiness to this one person. And I want you to know that your happiness is in no way, shape or form conditional on being with this one person. And as long as you keep thinking that you can only be happy with him, then you cannot be happy. You've got to let it go in order to let it come back. If you do not let it go, it cannot come back. And I know that this is not easy to do. Letting it go is not an easy thing for you to do. But sweetheart, that is the work. That is the work. And just like 
there are times when we have to take bitter medicine. We have to take the medicine because that is the cure. So the cure for the, this situation that you are in now is to stop thinking that the divorce keeps you away from him and you've got to stop thinking about him and instead focus on just being happy every single day. Just focus on finding satisfaction in every single day. Focus on appreciation, 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 soothing yourself by telling yourself, whatever will happen will be for my best interest. The universe is not here to hurt me. The universe is here to help me, guide me. And I'm going to trust that the universe will bring me that which is good for me. I want what is good for me and I want what is good for him as well. The universe knows what both of us want. And the universe is going to make things happen for me that I cannot even at this stage imagine. I cannot tell how universe will bring things to me that fulfill me completely. And you've got to let that Go and let the universe bring you that which is best for you. When we let go, that's how we get control. Control is in letting go the control. First, you have to let go. Once, once you let go, then the universe gives you control. But if you keep trying to snatch control, then you will not get it. A small example is a child who wants to snatch something from the parent. Lots of time you will see children who want to snatch the uh, parent's cell phone. And as long as the child is trying to snatch it from the parent, the parent doesn't want to give it. But when the child stops trying to snatch it, now the parent will say, here, go play with it, right? You've got to stop digging in your heels because when you dig in your heels and you keep thinking about the same thing over and over again and you have this movie playing in your head, what could I have done wrong? What could he have? What did he do wrong? I should have done this differently. He should have done this differently. Why did I let this happen? I should have done something to change this. As long as you keep thinking those thoughts, those thoughts are actually keeping you in the vibration of complaining and asking and that complaining and asking is not going to help you to get what you actually want and that is why you need to stop it stop it and instead focus on the fact that you are able-bodied you have a life ahead of you there are many things that you can do focus on what you can do what can you do can you cook can you clean can you go get a job? What is it that you can do? Do the things that you can do. Fill up your time because not being busy is a problem. Because when you are not busy, it's harder for you to control your thoughts. Your thoughts will automatically go in the direction that they are used to going. But when you have work to do, now you have to focus on this work that is in front of you. So it takes you off your old way of thinking at least for a period of time during the day. And that is a very good thing because it opens up a window of time for the universe to be able to step in to help you to get the things that you want. So Ruchi and everyone else who needed to hear this message, I hope that this is helpful. And if you have a question about the application of Law of Attraction, please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send it to me through my website zmahoon.com. Also, if you would like, you can head over to Amazon and check out my books and my courses and programs. You can do that on my website as well. I'm the author of 16 books on the subject of Law of Attraction and I offer several online courses, group coaching as well as individual coaching. Take care folks. Bye for now.